Duncan, congratulations. Through to the final. How would you assess the overall performance of today's game? It's a difficult game. I thought they're, um, they're a good side. They're very, very young. Uh, and some of our tired legs, our older legs, kind of suffered a little bit second half. I thought we should have wrapped the game up first half. Though. I thought we had plenty of chances to, um, to, to, to kind of put the game to bed first half, really. Um, and that puts pressure on you then, especially when you're hanging on to a one nil towards the end, and then we go down to ten players. So um, we should have we should have wrapped it up a lot sooner, and we invited the pressure on there. And obviously, we're not used to in the league games. We're not used to seeing cards brandished very frequently, or even uh, necessarily the sort of uh, amount of fouls that were committed today. What do you think caused? Do you think the cup? Uh, feeling around the whole game was what caused the extra bit of aggression and the referee deciding to brandish a few cards towards the second half I just thought that some of the decisions were strange I don't think it was any I don't think I couldn't really see the, the need for any of the cards yeah Darcy's first one bit of petulance and a bit of back chat to the referee fair enough um, discipline issue yeah fair enough deal with that same for their player, but there's, the sending off can work out. She, she's, the girl's come on the blind side. Darcy's gone to hook the shot. She's put her head down low, and obviously no one wants to see a player get hurt. So we hope she's okay. But it was never a red card. I mean, I said to the team, you need to be use your know-how, you use your experience, and obviously not not go out and foul anyone, but be strong and be physical on the ball. And I think sometimes in women's football, referees don't like that. And if that was a men's game, half them decisions wouldn't even be free kicks. So that disappointed me a lot. I have to say, I thought the officials were poor. Yeah, and also, yeah, in a situation where the opposition players put their head down, mm. do you really think that a high leg was the a sufficient reason to give a yellow card? No, not at all. I mean, it's 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 an unfortunate one. No one wants to see anyone get hit in the head at all, and that's obviously the concern is that the player's okay. But if you can't see the person coming, if they're coming on the blind side of you, what do you do? And they put their, as you said, put their head down low. But, yeah, I mean, Darcy's been phenomenal this season and to have that happen in the semi-final for her is upsetting. But hopefully it's just a one-game ban and I'm, I'm pretty certain she can still play in the final. So, as far as you're aware, it will be just a league game ban and the final should be yeah. fine? Yeah, I think so. I'll check it with the FA tomorrow. Um, I think so. I think because it's banned from all football normally when it's a red card. So, it normally is immediately the next game. So, obviously, next week it's got all the issue won't be able to play. How did you find the wind affected? Because it seemed as though the style of play from both teams couldn't really come to flow in the second half and the game almost sort of petered out towards the uh, midsection and throughout that second half. Do you think the weather had anything to do with that? I think so. We changed our style a little bit. They pressed very well, I thought. Um, and normally, you know, we play out from the back all the time. But today we kind of changed that when we saw how, how well they were pressing. Um, and the, the conditions weren't great, um, but I think it was just—it's a difficult occasion, isn't it? You know, what I mean, there's a lot of people here today. You know what I mean, so that puts pressure on everyone. And as much as you're trying to go out and just play the game rather than the occasion, you can't help but that. You can hear the fans, you can hear the supporters and stuff. And sometimes not everyone's used to that, so I don't think it was necessarily the conditions. I think more the occasion and stuff. And we didn't settle as much. I mean, that, we weren't at our very best, put it that way. Yeah, we could have been better, but we did enough, and that's all you need to do. Will there be any changes to preparation or um, getting ready for the final up ahead or is it just business as usual? Oh, hopefully it'll go ahead. I mean, you never know how bad we're getting. We might be the next game that's been called off. So, I mean, that is, the player said that straight away. I mean, we'll do everything the same. Um, I mean, it, it'll build up and the, the pressure will come as soon as we get to the end of that game. But we've got a big game next week. We need to win. We still need to concentrate on the league. And the players know that straight away. Yeah, they're happy now, but... Who remembers who loses? Who wins the semi-final? No one ever remembers that. Everyone only remembers the winners of the final. So, although this is a nice day and we want to celebrate, and it's good for the club. The final is all that matters, yeah. But winning the league is vital to us as well. So, if we can put pressure on New London Lionesses, who are doing very well, that would be our main thing. Yeah, and if we can do that, that will please me more than winning any final. Thank you very much. Cheers,